Hey guys, Jamie Starr here. I want to just cover this story. Um, so crazy, you know. Uh, Kanye West is like the pinnacle celebrity, you know. In some ways, I always saw this dynamic where it was very much like Jay Z is Great Britain as to Kanye West is America. And what I mean by that is, like, you know, a lot of the ideas and and everything like that may originate with Jay-Z, but Kanye's the attack dog. You know, think of the VMAs, for example. Kanye went out to defend Beyonce as if that was his girl or something and say she had the greatest video of all time. Kanye, you know, has done crazy things like rewrite the Bible with his name in place of Jesus and... All this sort of weird occultic stuff. So, you know, if there's an Illuminati, Kanye's brought into it. But on a lower level. Like, he wouldn't be at the same level as Jay-Z. He would be below Jay. And we're still talking, like, these are below pawns, even. They're like the pawns of the pawns. So, anyway, Kanye West very accurately compared himself to Donald Trump. And then calls out Beyonce. And and he goes on a rant about Beyonce, Jay-Z, Mark Zuckerberg, Hillary Clinton. And uh, so it's he ended up stopping the show. We can check out part of the rant here. If it loads. This is having problems. You know, one of the things I really like about Kanye is... I don't know where the rant rant is. Um, But anyway, right before Black Lives Matter really kicked off, you had Kanye put out a song called uh, Black Skinhead. And I thought it was very telling because it sort of gives insight into the ideology behind Black Lives Matter. I mean, you see some of these people, like in the one video I did where I reinterpreted the the poem or whatever, the rant, they... Over and over and over. I was raised by KRS-1. They, they really believe that uh, white people are genetic defects and therefore inferior to black people. It's very Nazi-esque, except it's just, you know... White people are the new Jews. Um, so I was raised by Tribe Called Quest. I was raised by DMX. The last real nigga alive? No, nigga. It's still real niggas alive. We alive tonight, bro. We alive tonight, bro. Virtual Ablo is alive tonight, bro. ASAP Nash is alive tonight, bro. When I say these names, y'all better scream for me. I don't give a fuck if you know the names of that. Go ahead, Google them. They will give you a little bit of factual information. They will give you that. Why did I name ASAP? Then that's the future. That's the niggas that got me and Cuddy. This shit alive, bro. It's life. We got a hundred years out here. A hundred years on this planet, bro. And we can have a utopia. We can love each other. But the rules gotta be fair. Khaled and Drake and Radio and Doc and 92.3 and everybody. Is it just me? But did you hear that song so many times? You see you wanna pay it for free. And give me the, hey, hey, you know what it is though? Cause hey, I love Drake, I love Khaled, but they set that song up, bro. And let me tell you something, MTV, fuck you, once again, as always, I'm on my Trump shit tonight. Let me tell you what it is, bro. Hey, you know.
know me. I went down seven years of my life of motherfuckers hating me for saying Beyonce had the best video. Hey baby, it's rock and roll tonight. Y'all might be experiencing a lot of pop shit, but the vibes is back. The prodigal son, Kid Cudi, has returned. The vibes is back. Right? I know it's gonna be a lot of conversations after the night. Khaled, I love you. I know you got killers in Miami. Please do not send them at my head. I just wanna have a conversation about how we playing radio's game. Khaled, you a real nigga. Khaled, you a real nigga, you got the keys. But as we learn all the politics that niggas was doing for years, Obama couldn't make America great because he couldn't be him to be who he was. Black men have been slaves. Obama wasn't allowed to do this. Yeah! And still win. He had to be perfect. But being perfect don't always change shit, bro. Being perfect don't always change shit, bro. So when I talk about MTV, let me explain something. I was hurt. Beyonce, I was hurt. Because I wanted to present a video called Faith. And out of respect, MTV told me, Mr. West, out of respect to you, I will let you know that Beyonce is winning the video tonight for formation over Hotline Bling and Famous. They told me beforehand so I wouldn't run on stage. Hey, bro, y'all ain't gotta fuck with me, but you know I got the vision and you know I'ma keep it real with you. Beyonce, I was hurt. I went down seven years on behalf of your, hey nigga, don't throw no shit while I'm talking. <laughs> I am putting my career, my life, my public well standing at risk when I talk to y'all like this. This is a moment in the matrix, bro. The vibes is back. The vibes is back. Motherfuckers might feel a way about this tonight. Beyonce, I was hurt. Cause I heard that you said you wouldn't perform unless you won video of the year over me and over Hotline Blade. In my opinion, now go, go trying to diss Beyonce. She is great. Taylor Swift is great. We are all great people. We are all equal, but sometimes we be playing the politics too much and forgetting who we are just to win. Fuck winning. Fuck looking cool. Fuck looking cool. Fuck being cool. Fuck all that, bro. I've been sitting here to give y'all my truth, even at the risk of my own life. Even at the risk of my own success, my own career, I've been sent here to give y'all the truth. Jay-Z, call me, bro. You still ain't called me. Jay-Z, call me. Hey, bro. Jay-Z, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. Just call me. Talk to me like a man. I'm not trying to be the man. I just am a man. The same as everybody here. I ain't above, below, none of y'all. We all equal. We all equal. This is the vibes, bro. This is the future. This is the way of thinking to make America great again. I'm, I'm just gonna...
say a few things. First off, you already hear he he understands the risk he's taking in saying this stuff. And I mean, I had, I had Kanye's last couple albums. I wasn't a big fan of uh, Dark Twisted Fantasy. Oh my God, that was that was a masterpiece. And even Jesus, I dug Jesus, but uh, this Pablo album, not a big fan of. But th I can't even tell you how much respect I have for this because he's bringing up a very vital point that in order, even with Obama, like in order to do what needs to be done, it's going to be unpopular. To be a rebel, you have to be unpopular. You have to shake people up. So you see Kanye, he's fully aware of what he's saying, what he's doing, the repercussions of it and everything. And and still, he said he, he would have voted for Trump, make America great again, acknowledging Obama didn't change anything. So if Obama didn't change anything, and Obama promised change and hope and, you know, all this other stuff, then we're still in need of it. So uh, Kanye is on, uh, on point right here. <laughs> I like that. Guess what? Guess what? Y'all need the vibes. See, and even there, he said, make America great again. They all booed him. And then he's saying, well, guess what? It's what you need. It's, it's what you need. I was hurt. Feelings matter, bro. The way motherfuckers put money up so high. Popularity. Radio spins. Feelings matter, bro. Feelings matter, bro. It's a new world, Hillary Clinton. It's a new world. Feelings matter. Because guess what? Everybody in middle America felt a way. And they showed you how they felt. Feelings matter, bruh. It's a new world. It's a new world, Barack. It's a new world, Jay-Z. And the other thing I have to say is I'm really, really happy that there seems to be a bit of a, a revolt against Jay-Z and Beyonce because they're like the pinnacle poster boys and girl of pop culture success. Um, black people idolize them because they're like the pinnacle of what you can be. But I mean, they're the ones that most accurately fit the terms coon uncle tom and you see people now doing videos calling them out on it some people still try to defend it but people realize beyonce you've been singing all this independent woman single ladies shit you're married with kids what i mean you're do this i'm doing this jay-z murder murder hustle hustle nigga fucking drug dealing i'm doing business investments with bill gates like, it's, people see this shit, and then they saw you come out shucking and jiving for Hillary Clinton and chilling with her husband when you know it was the crime bill that has locked up millions of black people after Jay went and encouraged them to pr pursue a life of crime because they're told somehow crime is how you make it as a rapper. Don't know how... I mean, that's basically like saying, you know, uh, it, you should be a plumber if you want to end up a famous painter. It just, it doesn't make any sense. So, we'll let Kanye continue. Don't send killers at my head, bro. This ain't the Malcolm X movie. We grow it from that moment. Let yay be yay. Oh, wait a second. Y'all, did y'all agree with that? Shut up! Let yay be yay. Yay fucking sick! Wait a second. I ain't hearing no screams on that. You know, and here, here's another interesting point, because you hear the reactions, the fuck yous and everything like that, and it's so amazing, this sort of love affair Americans have with celebrities as long as they're going in line 
as long as they're saying what they want to hear, as long as they can look at them as some sort of mirror. That's why I think, you know, Beyonce, you, black girls will defend her vehemently because they like looking at her like she's a mirror. You know, it's the whole whole thing when you see movies and, and characters are changed. There's no one that represents me. I'm not represented. I'm not, you know, I'm not seeing myself. I'm not having my narcissism fulfilled. And, and I, at my, at my base, I feel like it's because people realize they live such shallow and empty lives that it's mentally fragile. Like, the moment something even rubs them the wrong way, it all starts to break and they just have to lash out and act like a dick. I mean, it's, it's Kanye West. I'll tell you what, if I, if I wouldn't see him in concert... He could he could do anything, and uh, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. There's a punk rocker, like a legend. Oh my god! And I, but I mean, he would come out and he would like take a dump on the stage and then play a song or just walk off. To who? Oh my god! It's gonna bother me now. Um, someone leave it in the comments. Anyway, but if Kanye West did that, if Kanye, West, I mean, I would ex I expect him to be trying to one up Marilyn Manson. Like, he could come out on stage, set a Bible on fire, piss on the front row, and stick his fingers down his throat and throw up. It could be, like, the aristocrats, and I could just... It'd be Kanye. Like, yeah, I'd, so him doing a rant, you, you paid for this. Like, that's the funny part. You should have expected something. If he's got some shit to say, everything else is going on pause until that shit comes out. And that's one of the things I always dug about Kanye. It's it, I think it's stuff I would do. Like, it, as funny as I'm comparing my, you know, everyone else to their reflections they see in characters, I do know that these are the qualities I like in Kanye West and what Kanye West likes in Trump. That they're not going to hold back or feel restricted or be like, oh, well, I can't say this because then, you know. I mean, granted, Kanye's saying, don't send killers after me. Like, this is serious shit. And for some reason, it's serious shit. I, do, I don't grasp the, the severity and why everyone's so uncomfortable. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, I'm not saying this out of my own well-being, because it wouldn't be smart out of my own well-being to say things like this. Radio, I done talked to you a bunch of motherfucking times. Y'all motherfuckers is behind the times, because guess what? This St. Pablo tour is the most relevant shit happening. And, and what he's saying could also be applicable towards the media. The media is behind the times. They're, they're not... They're not doing anything. They're after the fact. This St. Pablo tour more relevant than radio. And if y'all still keep following all models, your ass is gonna get Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> you might not like it, but they gotta hear it. I ain't here to massage you with a fake truth telling you that Hillary gonna win over and over and over. Then you wake up, you still can't believe it. You know why? Because you was lied to by Google. You was lied to by Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, you wanna call me now? Do I got the vision, Mark Zuckerberg? Was you wrong? When I said I was $53 million in debt and you didn't call me, was you wrong? You ate dinner. You asked my friend Anthony Schiller to have dinner with me. I told you about Donda. You said you would help, and you didn't. Then you went to look for aliens. Me and Kid Cudi are aliens right here, bro. The vibes is back. Hey, John. Take me all the way back to the back to the Shia LaBeouf, Kid Cudi feels away. Give him a call. Shia 
Q-Tip, I love you, bro. Don't tell me how to be me, though. I love you. The Tribe album is dope. I love you. Don't tell me how to be me, though. I've been me. I am me. Can I just say also, if someone knows what is going on with that stage, I can't tell if the people moving at the bottom are carrying it somehow, or if it's just suspended, but the fact that the stage is over the people is amazing. <laughs> There's a Richard Pryor interview that you can walk about people coming into power and not changing anything and just becoming part of the power. Like you, Kanye! That's happened with musicians because they're scared. I'm not scared. I'm here to change things. I am here to change things. But things won't change until people admit they own falsehoods. I got the vision, bro. That is what I've been blessed with. My vision. I'm not always going to say things the perfect way, the right way, but I'm going to say how I feel. He's about to take a water break, so am I. <laughs> right now, I will prepare. Help us, Jesus. Right now, press, get ready to write your passive-aggressive LeBron James racist comments, season four racist comments, Get ready to have a field day press. Get ready. Get ready. Because the show's over. <laughs> That's great. Um, there And even right there, there's, you know, you almost wonder, was that Kanye calling out the media for pushing race? You know, he says, get ready to write your racist comments, this, this, and that. So, this happens, and next thing you know, though, Kanye reportedly hospitalized after abruptly canceling remaining leg of tour. Jay-Z feels bad for Kanye despite being dissed in bizarre concert rant. Nothing was bizarre. He laid out everything. Um, so, you have him basically taken into a psych hospital. There's a story here about how he was at his trainer's house and then hospitalized by Dr. Michael Farzam, who's his personal doctor, as a psychiatric uh, emergency. And, you know, this is one of the ways they can just kind of haul people off without being uh, too inconspicuous about it or conspicuous. You know, you had Dave Chappelle give his speech about people, people say these actors are going crazy, but is or something making them crazy. So at this point, now I really wouldn't be surprised if you see Kanye West pop up dead in a bathtub above an award show or um, some weird overdose. And this is very, like, Leninist. You know, this is one of the things about socialized medicine. And they could do this before socialized medicine. But 
this uh, sort of medical super state where all they have to say is, oh, well, this person's crazy. He's a danger to himself or others. And then you can just lock him up. And uh, so who knows? I hope Kanye is all right. Um, and then to see stress and exhaustion, you know, it's just, it's not, it, there was nothing crazy about that. That was Kanye being Kanye, but he, he went counter to the narrative and now he's taken away. He's hauled off and he's going to get a talking to or something horrible is going to happen to him or, you know, they're, they're, they're worried he's pulling a Trump, basically. So uh, I hope everything's okay with Kanye and uh, we all need to keep an eye on this. So have a good one, everyone.